Video blog check everybody, Azrael here and I'm taking you on a blogger trip to Baler Aurora. Hello Baler! I wasn't there for a beach vacation but I went to Baler for a 7 day trip to attend and cover the Skate Filipinas event, the first Southeast Asian street skateboarding competition. The most exciting part of my trip is that I'm hitting two birds with one stone, that is covering the Skate Filipinas event and then the World Surfing League event, the Baler Pro International Surfing Competition. It's been a dream of mine as a photographer to cover a surfing event and I'm happy that we managed a two-day side trip to cover this surfing event at Sabang Beach in Baler. Travel to Baler is via land. We rode a tourist bus provided by the Philippine Olympic Committee, one of the administrators of the Skate Filipinas event together with World Skate, a governing body for all skate sports officially recognized by International Olympic Committee. From Manila to Baler, our land travel took around 8 hours. It should normally be 6 hours for private transport but we had several stops for restroom breaks, lunch time, and evening coffee and snacks in the mountains. We arrived in Baler at night time and check in at Costa Pacifica the most luxurious beach resort in Baler. I've heard a lot of good things about Costa Pacifica since my first visit to Baler back in 2016. All I knew initially was that the resort is owned by the Angara family, a well-known political family based in Baler. Let's have a tour inside our room at Costa Pacifica. The next morning, we enjoyed our first breakfast in Baler. The thing that we love most here at Costa Pacifica is that we could order anything we wanted. As part of the media team, we were pampered and well taken care of by the World Skate Philippine team. After breakfast, we went straight to Sabang Beach and here I witnessed my first time watching the surfing event and also got my Fujifilm XH2S with 70 to 300 mm lens ready, my photo capture the surfing scene was non-stop. I noticed that some of the competing surfers were Japanese. The majority of the surfer athletes were from Japan. They say that the surf tide in Baler is the same as the tide back in Japan. On my first day of surfing coverage, it was a battle of the female surfers, Japan and the Philippines. Since the Skate Filipinas event would be the next day, we got to enjoy our stay at Costa Pacifica Mar. We could order any food we wanted and we also met when in Manila's content creator Desa Tai Ting who introduced us to some local restaurants and cafes in Baler. Our eating and drinking were non-stop. So this is what people do in Baler if you are not surfing skating or swimming in the beach. You just go out and eat and support the local restaurant and cafe scene in Baler. Here's our recommendation that you must visit in Baler. First, try the food at the beach house restaurant of Costa Pacifica. Then in the town, try the food at Bucana Baler, Gayuma Cafe, Gagay's, Dialin's Bake Shop, Maxi Mango's Yogurt Strawberry Drink, Eat All You Can by Yolis, Pancit Batil Patong, and the Karindiria in Baler Public Market. There are lots of cafes and restaurants near Sabang Beach, but these restaurants cafes we visited are just starters for our 7-day stay. There's a lot more in the middle of the town. There's Jollibee and Docks too, if you miss the mainstream Manila food. The following day, it's the Skate Filipinas event, the first ever Southeast Asian street skateboarding competition. On our third day in Baler, we went to Baler Skate Park, the main venue for the Skate Filipinas event. 
The Belair Skate Park is recognized by skaters as the most well-built skate park here in the Philippines. The size and facility is world-class in design, it is fit for an X Games competition, and also fit for the Olympics qualifiers. That's the reason why Skate Filipinas and World Skate are here in Belair to facilitate the competition and find out who will win to advance to the next stage. We met skater and architect Lornel Bihasa a member of Taga Baler Skateboarding Community and also the architect and designer of the Baler Skate Park. Here's our interview with him. Dahil din sa Skate Pinas, uh, tinap nila yung local community namin na uh, Taga Baler Skateboarding Community para magkaroon ng event dito. Then, nagulat kami. Akala namin ano lang po, national. Tapos sinabi nila mag-invite sila ng Southeast Asia. So, talagang wow talaga. <laughs> Nakapagano din sa... Uh, malaki din yung epekto niya sa tourism. The Baler Skate Park is a 6,155 square meter facility including the skate park itself. There's also an office building, a 35 vehicle car park, and a 350-seater grandstand. The construction started last 2022 and was soft launched in August of 2023. The cost of this Baler Skate Park is 39 million pesos. And thanks to Aurora Representative Romel Angara and Senator Sunny Angara for helping source the funds to build this Baler Skate Park. Baler skaters are so lucky to have this and is open to the public. Baler Skate Park has a professional street course and also at the back of the grandstand, they have a skater's pump track and flatland for beginners. In Baler Skate Park, here we meet the Southeast Asian skateboard athletes representing the Philippines, Thailand, Malaysia, and Indonesia. Our Olympic medalist, Marjeline Didal, is also there to compete. We also got to meet Christiana Means from the U.S. She is here to represent again the Philippines. Star athletes are also present and here I saw them in action for the first time. Motik Panugalinog, Renz Jelig, Cindy Lucerna, and the Pride of Baler, Mac Feliciano. For Thailand, they got their own star athletes. For the men, Jarodet Sae Jao and Tanakorn Wodowski. And for the women, Variraya Sakwasem and Natita Borm Nawatikawong for Thailand. And then for Indonesia, their representative is Zafira Mahika. And for Malaysia, Amar Shariz Bin Muhayar. The women skaters from Thailand and Malaysia are the youngest competitors. Variraya, Natita Born, and Zafara are all 12 years old. As I watched them during their practice session, I saw them fly on the ramp and start showing some tricks. And I learned that the 12-year-olds are already pros at their age level. It was a practice day for all skaters, by batches and by gender. After the practice session, Skate Filipinas awarded some free skateboards to Baler student skaters. These are young kids who joined their workshop and training for days and it is their graduation day. Free skateboards coming from Skate Filipinas and the Angara family. These kids are so lucky. They do skateboard training with the pros, they have their own skate park, and now they took home brand new skateboards. All of them are so happy as I watch them skate around and do some ollie, I can tell that they are the next generation of champs, following the footsteps of our players like Marjeline, Motik, Max, Cindy, and Christiana. At the Balear Skate Park, we met the youngest pro skater in the Philippines. Her name is Maisel Paris Aligado. She's 9 years old and a rising skateboard superstar. She's based in the U.S and represents the Philippines in the recent Asian Games 2023 in Hangzhou, China, where she landed 7th place in the Women's Skateboarding Finals. She's not here to compete, but to give support to all athletes in Skate Filipinas. Maisel Paris displayed her skateboarding performance here at the skate park. We were amazed to see her already flying in the mini skate bowl and doing some awesome tricks. Here's our interview with Maisel Paris. So, what uh, tips you can share to a kid who wants to start skateboarding? Well, my tips are never give up, keep trying, and if boys can do it, anybody can do it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Is it easy to learn skateboarding? 
I guess if you well, don't want to just, uh, like, practice, you have your free will. Free will. If you don't want to like practice, uh, the band is um, on the way. Well, for skating, it would be like kind of hard, but then after you get comfortable with practicing and stuff, then it would become easier and easier. And uh, how was the support from your family? Uh, how was it? It's great. Like they like keep like supporting me. It's so like fun that they're supporting me. It's so nice and yeah. Yes, hi everybody. Um, I just want everyone to like, like get like try skateboarding because it's so fun and yeah. On day four, it's the competition day. Baler Skate Park is attended by the local skaters from Baler and also skaters from the National Capital Region. Yes, they traveled this far to witness their skater idols in a live competition match. It was the prelims match for the men's heat. For 45 seconds, they should skate around the Baler Skate Park and finish the course without falling off their skateboard after a trick. 16 male athletes competed in a two-round prelim matches. At the end of the prelims, we got the top 8 prelim results. Leading is the pride of Baler, Mac Feliciano, followed by Cebuano skater Renz Jelig and Thailand's Tanakorn Wadowski, Philippine team's Motik Panugalinog, Jong Leonardo Banyara, Justin Entezo, Obencito Ancheta, and Thailand's Jarudet Sae Jao. On day 5 in Baler, it's the women's heat finals. Competing are 3 from the Philippines, 2 from Thailand, and 1 from Malaysia. One of the most exciting parts to see here in the women's finals is the gameplay of our Olympic medalist Marjeline Didal. It is my first time to see her shred the rails and perform flying stunts on the ramp. The final is the longest match because each skater is required to do two runs and each run is a 45 seconds play time on the Baler Skate Park. And after that, each skater will perform their best trick for five rounds. Each women skater did their best and here I noticed that the 12-year-old skater from Thailand and Malaysia are doing well. They got a good standing after each run and best trick. Variraya became so emotional after landing a perfect trick. Her dad was there as some kind of a coach giving all the support to his daughter Variraya. For the top 3 win, Variraya landed in first place. Followed by Natita Yaborn of Thailand and third place is our Philippine team Marjeline Didal. After the women's match, the much awaited big match for the men's final is starting to heat up. Many audiences are here to see the best of the Philippine skaters versus other countries. The match is the same, 2 runs for 45 seconds each run and 5 rounds of the best trick. We are amazed by the performance of Mac Feliciano and the crowd favorite Renz Jelly is performing the craziest dog. Oh, I'm surprised that the Kavidi skater is also present. His name is Justin Estenzo. The men's skaters gave all they got but only one got it on top. Thailand skater Jarodet Sae Jao won first place, followed by Renz Jelig for second place and Mac Feliciano for third place. It was a tough battle for the men's heat. All skaters' sportsmanship at the first Southeast Asian street skateboarding competition is awesome. It's my first time to watch a skateboard competition that places them in the global ranking. Thanks to Skate Filipinas and World Skate, for choosing Baler Aurora here in the Philippines as the battleground for the Olympic qualifiers. According to Miss Billy Manahan of the Philippine Olympic Committee, she said everyone is now gearing up for the next Olympics, which will be held in Paris, France this July 2024. But first, Skate Filipinas and World Skate will be traveling to Dubai for the next Dubai Street Skateboarding Competition this March 2024. Our Philippine skater team will be there to compete again versus other countries for another Olympics qualifying match. World Skate and Skate Filipinas are also bringing the Downhill Skateboarding and Street Luge World Championship to Tagaytay City this Feb 22-25. Expect another coverage from me and the media team for another skateboard event. After the competition event, me and the media team composed of Ted Aerod and Dessa just took a day rest and enjoyed the Sabang Beach and Baler and also the good homey cooked food in Costa Pacifica. Watch my next video.
featuring the nature spots in Baler, we got a day off there before we head to Manila and we borrowed a car to roam around the town of Baler and also visit the farthest beach spot. Thanks to Skate Pilipinas and World Skate Asia. A big thanks to Sir Carl Sembrano of Skate Pilipinas and Miss Mili Manahan of the Philippine Olympics Committee for inviting us to cover this awesome sports event in Baler. Take note that the Baler is not just a surfing spot, it is also the next skateboarding spot in the country. And plus, a good spot for a food crawl, so watch out for that food feature in my next video. Thank you, Baler! Hello, Baler! So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed my Baler coverage. So don't forget to subscribe, like and comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video vlog adventure. Thank you guys!